Welcome in. Today we're going to be discussing the U.S. Marines vehicles. This is important because you should be able to identify any vehicles on the battlefield in squad. And this series of videos is aimed at giving you the opportunity to make better callouts for your team. That way you're not calling this an LAV. And by watching this video, you'll have a better idea of the basic capabilities that the U.S. Marines have with their vehicles. So hit the subscribe button, leave a like, and drop a comment down below with your favorite vehicle in this faction, and let's get to it. One of the first things you need to be aware of is every time you enter a round, you can see what vehicles both your team and the enemy team has. You can find this information by hitting caps lock and going to the vehicle icon in the top right of your map. This will give you a breakdown of all the vehicles available to either team during that round. It'll also tell you the ticket value of each vehicle along with whether or not they're amphibious. The first vehicle we're going to look at is the M1A1 Abrams. If you watch my other guides, you know that the U.S. Army operates the M1A2. However, the Australian Defense Force also operates the M1A1. The M1A1 sports an M256 120mm smoothbore gun. It comes complete with 21 rounds of armor-piercing Sabo and 21 rounds of high-explosive shells. The coax on the main gun is the 7.62. You also have countermeasures in the form of smoke launchers, and the commander actually has a remote-operated Browning 50 cal machine gun on top. However, one difference between the M1A1 and the M1A2 is you don't have a loader machine gun. The M1A1 and the M1A2 are going to sound similar in terms of their engine. Let's take a listen. The Abrams has the distinctive turbine engine, which you can hear from about 300 meters out, while you can hear the tracks at around 500 meters. The M1A1 also operates with just a crew of three, being the gunner, commander, and the driver. Let's take a listen to its weapon systems. You'll find the M1A1 sporting two different camo patterns for the U.S. Marine Corps in the Desert and Woodland option, which is going to differ from the distinct camo pattern of the Australian Defense Force. The LAV-25 serves as the U.S. Marine Corps' infantry fighting vehicle. The LAV-25 comes from the same family of vehicles as the ASLAV from the Australian Defense Force and the Canadians LAV-6 and Coyote. The LAV-25 is amphibious and sports the same main gun as all of these other weapon systems and the Bradley in the M242 Bushmaster 25mm autocannon. It holds 60 armor-piercing Sabre rounds and 150 high-explosive rounds. It also sports a 7.62 coax and a smoke launcher for countermeasures. While the commander does not have a gun of his own, there is a fourth seat for an M240. The LAV-25 sports a crew of three, being the driver, gunner, and commander, and can hold seven passengers in the rear of the vehicle. Not to mention it can carry 600 ammo points for resupply of infantry or on fobs. Let's take a listen to the LAV-25 engine. Again, the LAV-25 sports the same main gun as the ASLAV, the LAV-6, the Coyote, and the Bradley. And the coax is going to sound the same as the Abrams, so let's take a listen to the top gun and the main turret. The 
The LEV25 is going to come in two different camo patterns, being woodland and desert. Keep in mind, this vehicle, along with the Aslav, are the only two LEVs that are amphibious. The U.S. Marine Corps also operates two tracked APCs. First, let's talk about the AAVP. The AAVP actually has two slots for crew, being the driver and gunner. The gunner has access to an MK-19 grenade launcher and an M2A1 50 caliber machine gun, along with smoke launchers in the form of countermeasures. In addition to your crew of two, the vehicle can hold 10 passengers and 1,200 logistics points that can be split between ammo and build supply. However, you cannot set up a new fob or radio from this vehicle. Then you have the AAVC, which looks very similar to the AAVP, just lacks any sort of main armament or weaponry on board. It can hold 3,000 logistics points split between ammo or build, along with a total of 12 people. The AAVC operates like an armored logistics truck, and you can use this vehicle to set down new radios or fobs. These vehicles are going to sound the same from an engine and driving standpoint, but let's take a listen to the AAVP. Now the best way to tell the difference between these vehicles is just seeing the weapon systems on the AAVP. And here's what that's going to sound like. And as you'd expect, both of these vehicles have variations of camo patterns for desert and woodland layers. It's time to talk about the light vehicle options for the U.S. Marine Corps. U.S. Marines are primarily going to operate the M1151 or Humvee light vehicle. There are three different variations of a Humvee, each with a 50 caliber machine gun on top in the form of an open top and RWS or remote weapon system, and one Humvee with an open top and open doors. So first you have the RWS, which again has a 50 cal on top, can seat four people and hold 300 ammo points. The open top version of the Humvee, both in the closed door option and the open door option, of course has a 50 cal on top, can seat five people total and hold 300 ammo points. Let's hear the engine from the Humvee. As I mentioned before, all of these Humvees operate with the same weapon systems being a 50 caliber machine gun. And we've already heard what that sounds like based on the top gun of the M1A1 Abrams and what the AAVP operates. So you should be pretty familiar with the sound. But the US Marine Corps also operates a different light vehicle on a few different layers. And that's the Mat V, which is the same vehicle I highlighted in the US Army Vehicle Guide. It seems the US Marines have access to a couple of the 50 cal options of the Mat V being the open top and remote weapon system version, or RWS. They also have access to the tow version of the Mat-V. Unless I've missed it, it doesn't seem that they tend to operate with the Mat-V with a 240 on top. So we're gonna just focus on the 50 cal. If you want more information on Mat-Vs, obviously you can check out my US Army Vehicle Guide for a full breakdown of all of the Mat-V options. So first you have the Mat-V Crows M2, which is a remote weapon system. It holds 300 ammo points and four people. You also have the Mat-V Open Top, which holds five people and 300 ammo points. And of course, the Mat-V Tow option, which only holds 150 ammo points and five people, but of course, packs quite a punch with that tow being mounted on top. Like the U.S. Army, the Marines operate the M939 General Purpose 6x6 Heavy Truck. There are two versions of this vehicle. One is a transport that holds up to 16 people and carries 300 ammo points. Whereas the other one is a logistics vehicle, which holds up to 10 people and 3,000 logistics points that can be split between ammo and build. The logistics version of the vehicle can be identified by the boxes behind the main cabin and can be used to set up new radios or fobs. 
Here's the engine sound of this vehicle. And you guessed it, you'll have two different camo patterns depending on the layer, being desert or woodland. The US Marines also operate the UH-1Y helicopter. Some may label this as a Huey, but it's a pretty fast and agile helicopter that comes complete with a little bit of a special ability. First of all, the helicopter can hold about 900 logistics points. In addition to the pilot, you can hold up to 12 soldiers, but the front passenger in the helicopter has access to two cameras, one being a landing cam so you can see directly below the helicopter. The other is a camera that can rotate about 360 degrees beneath the front end of the helicopter. This gives you tons of visibility and creates an opportunity for this helicopter to be a great asset on the battlefield for gaining intel. You also have two 7.62 door guns, one on either side of the helicopter. Let's listen to this thing fly. The last vehicle we have to discuss for the US Marine Corps is the RIB. The RIB is a boat that serves across multiple different factions. For the Marines, you're gonna have several different variations of this vehicle. First, there's a transport version that holds 10 people and 300 ammo points. There's also a logistics version that can actually set up radios and fobs, which holds eight people and 1400 logistics points. Then you have two variations of the RIB with machine guns. One is gonna come with the M2A1 Browning, similar to that that is on the Humvee. This is a 50 caliber heavy machine gun that will do some damage. There's also a variation of the rib with the M240 Bravo, which is a 7.62 machine gun, similar to what we had on top of the LAV-25 that we showed earlier. This covers the US Marine Corps vehicles. If you found the video helpful, be sure to hit the like button. Make sure you're subscribed. Drop a comment down below with your thoughts on the vehicles and be sure to check out other videos on the channel, including the other vehicle guides. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you all next time.